Welcome uh, to this presentation for car manager or vehicle management for SharePoint Online and Office 365. I will present you the solution with the web form uh, accessing through the URL. The solution runs on your Office 365 tenant and it can be uploaded and activated with a couple of clicks. I will show you as well the integration with the mobile app, the Power Apps technology for booking the car. The solution itself is uh, very simple uh, to uh, activate and there are two main lists. One is the cars list, as you can see here. We use the modern interface, so all your cars can be just uploaded directly by a picture uh, of the car or the vehicle to this cars list. And it comes out of the box with some uh, built-in fields that can be used. So this car has a location. It means the pickup is at Fifth Avenue. You can have different locations uh, depending on your needs. The car can be blocked or unblocked. We have a capacity field for the car. So the number of seats that are available. You see as well here very nice with the different colors, the conditional formatting that is available in the modern experience. We use keywords, uh, meaning you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can tag the car with three terms. So you can say, for example, this car Ford has uh, four seats. Uh, it is a green car. Uh, it has an automatic gear and it is tagged with echo. So you can use different keywords. And the idea of the keywords I will show you in a while uh, helps the user to narrow down the search results. So when they search for a car for a, a given site and location for a given date and time, maybe there are five or 10 or maybe 50 cars available and they can narrow down by these keyword filters. Then we have some rules uh, for uh, policies for the car. Uh, different, different terms can be defined. So for example, a short term one car would be a car which can be booked seven days in advance. Uh, default is long term. There are no limitations, no policies related to these cars here in blue. And there's a short term two car, for example, uh, which defines that the car can be booked uh, only for 24 hours maximum. Additional fields which comes out of the box is the mileage update. So we can, uh, we can activate that. And once it's activated, the user would need to enter the current mileage of the car uh, when they check in or check back the car to the pool, right? After the usage, they bring back the car and then they have to enter the mileage. And then we can see, uh, calculate uh, how long the car has been used. We can give a color to the car, uh, a description, and uh, additional fields are available. For example, who can book the car? So you can say this car can be booked only by the manager. This car can be booked by all, and this this car can be grouped only by can be booked only by a certain group. And the nice feature in SharePoint, of course, is uh, the freedom to extend these lists with your custom fields. You could add a cost center. Uh, you could even add a calculated field. Uh, you can you can add really any custom column, which should be reflected.